So I'm going to show you how to do your upsell and downsell pages in System.io. Now it's a really easy process, but there's just a few important things you need to know to make sure that your funnel is going to function how you need it to. Now, first of all, apologies to my voice. I had the flu last week and I still haven't got my voice back fully yet. But I know there's a few of you out there that want this video, so I wanted to get it out to you as quick as possible. On the upside, I've got a new mic, so hopefully I no longer sound like I'm in a fishbowl like I used to do on some of my other videos. Anyway, let's get into this video. So once you've logged into your System.io account, navigate over to the Funnels tab. And now here, of course, we need to set up a new funnel if you haven't done so already. So click on the Create button and we're going to name our funnel. And then because this is a sales funnel, we're going to select uh, to sell a product and then choose your currency. Click save and now our funnel appears here at the top of our funnel list. Now if we click on the name of our funnel, by default we see that the funnel is set up with two pages, the order form and the thank you page. So we're going to need to add our upsell and downsell pages. So we go to the bottom here where it says add step and then the first page you're going to add is our upsell page. So name your page, I'm just going to call it upsell and then from type underneath we've got the drop down menu and under the sales section we'll see an option here for upsell so this will give us upsell page style templates click on save and now here is our upsell so currently now every time you add a page system.io puts it at the bottom of the list of pages you've got in your funnel but we want the upsell to be after the order form so just click drag and then pull it up so it's underneath the order form and before the thank you page and now we need to add our downsell page so the same process go to add step and we're going to name our downsell page and then from type under the sales section there is also a downsell style type of page click save and then we need to drag this downsell page up after the upsell so now currently the progression of this funnel is the customer will come to the order form purchase your product hopefully and then they'll be taken to the upsell page then after the upsell page they're taken to the downsell page and then after the downsell page they're taken to the thank you page so Firstly, let's just choose a few templates to work with for each of these pages. And then I can show you the important things you need to know to make sure this funnel is going to function how you need it to. So first of all, let's go to the order form and choose a template. I'm just going to go with this one here. So that's going to be our order form template. Then go to upsell. You're going to choose a template for the order form. Again, let's choose this one here. And for downsell, same thing. So I'm just going to choose uh, this one here. So of course, you're going to want to edit the look and design of each of your pages by clicking this edit button here. But I'm not going to do that because this video is just to show you how to set up the upsells and downsells and get the functioning correct. I presume by now, if you're watching a video about how to put in upsells and downsells in your funnel, I presume you already know how to do this. If not, then I've left a link below this video to a tutorial where I show you how to set up a sales funnel and edit the look and feel and the design of the pages. So now the basic structure of our funnel is set up. We've got the order form, upsell page, downsell page, and a thank you page let's go to each and then just do a few configurations so you select your first page which is your order form so if you were to go to the edit page button this is what our checkout page looks like and of course you can edit this as you want to but when a person enters their information and makes that purchase they click this button they're then automatically taken to the next page in your funnel which is the upsell page However, first of all, if we look at the order form, it's just got some default pricing here. So you just want to set up your pricing beforehand. So I was going to quickly show you how you can do that. So on the, when the order form is selected, under step configuration, we need to come down to the bottom here and choose if you're selling a digital or a physical product. So in this case, I'm just going to select digital product. And now the first option we get now says resources click on the plus button and now you have a few options here one is courses second is course bundles third is tags and fourth is communities so first of all we want to set up a tag so regardless of what you're selling i highly recommend that you tag your customers so then you know inside your system.io account which customers bought what product which would be of course really helpful for you when you follow up with them via email and so forth so before you can do this you need to set up your tag okay so since we're selling three products here essentially we've got one product on the order form one product on the upsell page and one product on the downsell page we want to set up three different tags for each product so you know which customers bought what so let's do that first so you need to come up to the contacts tab at the top of the menu here and click on tags 
And now in this section here, we can create a new tag by clicking the create button. And now we're going to, all we need to do is give our product or sorry, give our tag a name. And what I recommend you do is name the tag by the product name. So then you can see in your account, right, this customer has bought this product and so on. So for the sake of this demo, I'm just going to label it product one. So I'm not actually using these tags for anything. It's just to show you guys. So click save. And now we see product one tag is at the top here. Now I need to set up my other two tags. So product two, and then let's set up the third one and click save. So now we've got our three tags set up, which should be, you know, each product name individually. Let's go back to our funnel, go back to the funnel we're working on. Now in the order form section, we come down to select what type of products it is, digital product, click on resources. And now the first thing we're going to do is select our tag. So now that tag should appear in the drop down menu here and it does. So now I can select the product one tag, click save. So now this means when a person makes that purchase on the order form, they're going to be tagged with this product one. So I know that customer bought that specific product. And then the second resources we need to set up is the actual product you're going to be selling to the customer. So click on the plus button again. And now from the drop down, we're going to select for this example, let's say I'm selling a course on the order form. So I click courses and then I get another drop down appears. And now from here, I can choose whichever course I have set up in my account. So I'm just going to choose this one here. And of course, these are courses that I already have set up in my system.io account. So if you already have the same, you'll find them under products tab and then under courses. And now this is where you set up your course first and then you will see your course name in the drop down here for you to select. Click save. Actually, we've got to first of all select the access type we're going to give to them. So from this drop down, the options we have is to give them full access or partial access. Just for example, if you only wanted to give them access to certain modules or if you wanted to drip out the content over time. For example, on week one, they get module one, then on week two, they get module two and so on. So I'm just going to choose full access. And now a couple of other options here that the system gives you, which is do you want to grant the customer access on a specific date? Or do you also want to expire the access for that customer at any point? I don't want to do any of those. So I'm just going to click save. And now that's set up. So in order form, as the customer purchases, they're going to be tagged with the product one tag. And then they're going to be sent access to this course via email. And they're going to have full access when they purchase. And then the next thing you want to do is set up your price. So click on the plus button and then choose a pricing type. So if you don't have pricing plan set up yet, just come to this button that says create a new one. You then choose a name for the product, for example, product name, $997, whatever. So this, whatever you enter here will be displayed on the order form when the person makes the purchase. And then here you want to enter the name of the product so you can see what that product is in the back end of your system.io account. I usually just generally keep it the same. So whatever I've named it here, I also put the same in here. And the third statement descriptor, this is really, really important. So what you put here is what the customer will see on their bank statement. So they know that they've purchased that product from you and they know what it is. So make this something that's clear and recognizable to that customer. So because if you imagine that their customer purchases from you and then three or four weeks later, they get their bank statement or they see it, you know, just sometime later and they just don't recognize what that purchase is. The last thing you want is for them to then contact their bank and do a charge back on that product because they don't recognize the payment whereas actually it is a genuine product they bought from you. So just make that very clear. So just write, you know, product name in here, for example. And then the last option is a price plan type. For example, if it's a one-time payment or if it's a subscription or if it's a payment plan. And that's it. So very, very simple. And then you click save and your pricing plan is set up. And then when you come back to your funnel, you will then see your pricing plan adjusted here automatically. Okay, so now we need to go set up the upsell page. So on the upsell page, we want to first come to edit page. Now what's really important is you want to add two options to the customer on the upsell page, which either gives them the option to accept your offer or decline your offer. So it's important that you use these very specific buttons to do that. So that way your sales funnel will know OK, this customer did make the purchase, therefore I'm going to send them to the thank you page or they didn't make the purchase, so I'm going to send them to the downsell offer. And the way we do that is in the elements section of the sidebar here, if you scroll down to the bottom, we've got these options here that will only appear on the upsell page templates or the downsell page templates. So one is accept offer button and the second one is decline offer button. 
So you want to use these two rather than just a regular purchase button. So that's very, very important. So if you see here, this template has these set up by default. So they've got, yes, I want it or no thanks to the offer. So if I click on this, we can see the label of this button element is accept offer button. So that is this button. That is this element here that's been dragged into here. And the same with a no thanks button. It's the decline offer button, which is this one here. So again, if you want to change the layout of this page and or if you want to, to delete pretty much everything on this and start from scratch, just make sure that you use these two buttons. So if I want to put them at the top here, I'll bring in the accept offer. Let's drag it. Let's place it here. So that's uh, yes, I want this offer. And then you can label it here. Oops, <laughs> give me this now. OK, and then of course, you want to give the customer the option to decline the offer. So you can bring this one in here. Let's drag it underneath and label it. No thanks, I'll skip this. Now you can also put these buttons side by side if you wanted to. So, I mean, this is just aesthetics, how you'd like it. You'd drag in a column here, two columns, and then you drag, oops, each of your button elements inside each of the column boxes. And now you have them side by side. I'm just gonna click Save Changes, and then I'm gonna go back to my funnel and then we want to set up what type of product you're going to be selling on this page. This is also really important. So this way system.io will know which products to deliver to the customer based on what they've purchased. So from the bottom here where it says choose offer type, select if it's a digital or physical product you're selling. I'm just going to go with digital again. And the same thing as before we did on the order form. So click on the resources a plus button and we're going to first select our tag. So from the drop down this time, this is products two. So of course you'd have named this, whatever the product name is. It's just going to be easier for you to then keep track of it. Click save. And then we need to select which product you're actually selling on this upsell page. So I'm just going to say it's a course again, and I'm going to choose a different course and click save. And then the access type full access, click save. And then you set up your price, whatever price you're charging for this, exactly the same as I showed you previously on the order form. You do the same process, set up a new price for this product that you're selling on the upsell page. So now that's complete. Once the customer makes the purchase of that upsell page, system.io will know that the customer has purchased this product because they've used that accept offer button that we set up here. Remember, this is the accept offer button. So because you've used that button, system.io will then know that this product has been purchased. So then system.io should include access to this product along with the product they purchased on the order form in the confirmation email they send to the customer. And then the third thing we need to do is set up our downsell. Now this is again, exactly the same. So as we, we've just done for the upsell page. So you'd go to edit page. And again, here is the two buttons. Just make sure that you're using these buttons here, accept offer, decline offer. So I don't need to show you that again. It's exactly the same process I've just shown you on the upsell page. I don't want to waste your time. So just repeat that process on your downsell page. And then under step configuration, you also repeat the same thing. Choose if it's a physical or a digital product under resources. First, set up your tag so you know which products which customer has purchased. So this time it's product three. Click save and then you would add which actual products that you're selling. So then I choose the next product, click save and then set your pricing plan up again. And then that's that. So now that's done. What's also really important for you to know is that within our funnel, so currently we've got the four pages, order form, upsell, downsell, and a thank you page. So because you've ordered your pages in this way, as soon as the customer makes the purchase in the order form, they're automatically sent to the upsell page. Now this is the important bit. On the upsell page, if the customer does accept your offer, clicks this button, they are then redirected to the thank you page and they'll miss the downsell page. However, if on the upsell page, they decline your offer and they choose no thanks button, they are then sent to the downsell page to offer them the downsell instead. And then on the downsell page, regardless if they accept or decline the offer on the downsell page, they are then sent to your thank you page. So there you have it. That's how you set up your upsell and downsell pages in System.io. So pretty straightforward, but there's just a few important things you need to know to make sure that your funnel is going to function how you want it to. Now, if you need more tutorials on System.io and you need more help with various technical bits, then you can check out my System.io playlist here where I've got lots of tutorials for you to go through.